Hello everybody, Michael Tyler here with another free Vectric project of the month. This month's project is called the Cuties Boxes. It's easily customizable in vCarve Desktop, vCarve Pro, and Aspire. You can create your own designs for the vCarving top, or you can use the samples just as they are. The project includes illustrated PDF instructions you can print out, as well as this step-by-step -step video where I go through the process of how I've assembled the boxes. If you want to have a go at making one of these yourself, you can download the files from your VNCO account. If you make your own version, please feel free to share that on the Vectric forum and across social media. If you like the video and you want to get notifications of future free projects from Vectric, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Please enjoy the rest of this video and have fun! Happy carving! Each one of the cutie boxes just consists of four parts. We got the base and the ring, and we have this underlayment that will fit inside here, which will be glued onto the lid. So I've done some cursory sanding on the outside. I've sanded the inside of the ring, get the tabs off, and then for the inside of this uh, recess, I just take one of these sanding stick tools and get in there and knock off any fuzzies there. Now after I glue the ring on, I'll go ahead and sand uh, both of those together by hand and just smooth that out and blend it. So before we glue things together, I'm just going to take the ring and place it aligned on top of the lid like that. And I'm going to take a sharp pencil and just lightly trace an outline and that will act as a guide for this under uh, layment for that lid stay. So we have that pencil line to follow. It helps us get that centered in there. One more thing before I glue this underlayment on the underside of the lids. So I just want to round over the edge that's going to be exposed. Now, on because this was a pocket, uh, this is a little rougher here, so that's going to get the glue. And then this will be the part that goes inside the box and will be the visible part. So I'm just going to round off those edges a little bit by hand with some 220 sandpaper. Okay, I've done my prep work here for gluing this all together. You notice that I also pay attention to what the grain looks like, and so I've made a pencil mark here on both of these boxes so that I can glue those in place and not lose my position for that uh, grain pattern that I'm after. 
So I'm going to use a combination of wood glue and some uh, CA glue or super glue, as some of you may know it as, and a little bit of accelerator just to make it set up quicker. So I'm going to first brush on a little bit of this wood glue. And I don't want to get too close to the edge because I don't want that to run over and goop out. I'm using this uh, translucent glue from Type Bond. I like it because it's a full body glue and sets up tacky pretty quickly. All right, so I'm going to spray a little bit of accelerator on the center of this lid. This is the lid and I'll apply just a drop or two of this CA glue and that'll just hold this in place. And I've got my alignment guide from that pencil line that we drew earlier. And it looks good. Okay, I'll just press that in place and then we'll glue the box pieces together. I weighed down these boxes and uh, lids just to allow the glue to cure and clamp it more or less together with the weights. So I'll remove the weights and go to the finish sanding. Everything's all sanded up and I'm going to go ahead and apply a couple coats of thinned seal coat, the Zinsser Bullseye Seal Coat, which is 100% de-waxed shellac and I mix it 50-50 with denatured alcohol. Makes a really good sealer and I like to use it to uh, coat wood carvings and it raises the grain a little bit and stiffens them up so that I can go back and do a final sanding cleanup, get the rest of the fuzzies off. Okay, so I'll just continue on and done the lids there and I'll go ahead and do the bodies of the boxes too. The seal coat's all dry and I've sanded between coats and gave it a final sanding after the last coat. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, coat everything with uh, Krylon uh, clear gloss and I'll probably follow that up with uh, a satin or if I decide I'm going to uh, fill in the letters with uh, paint or stain or something I may use a uh, flat. Haven't decided yet. I'm leaning towards keeping it natural but we'll see. Well, as you see, I decided to go ahead and keep these natural. Uh, I can always change my mind later and glaze them or fill them with epoxy or whatever. And of course you can do the same. Uh, but I went ahead and uh, applied several coats of the Krylon Clear Gloss and then followed up with some satin. And uh, that completes the project. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you uh, create some customized uh, QD boxes of your own. All right, we'll see you next month with another free Vectric Project of the Month.